Hello, everybody. Remember, I promised to come back. Nice to see you all again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're all too nice. I wanted to remind you one more time that we've had some absolutely fantastic sponsors. And so uh, for all those sponsors, we could not have this meeting without you and know our heartfelt gratitude. I know some of the sponsors have already left, but for those of you who are still here, thank you so much. And let's have a round of applause for the sponsors. Now, I know how hard graduate students work, because once I was a graduate student, it happened. And I know you've been sitting on pins and needles, getting indigestion the whole dinner, wondering, did I win? Well, I'm going to invite Kathy and Fritz up here to tell you whether you won. Okay, thanks everybody for coming. I think this is uh, my favorite part of the, buff, uh, the banquet. Um, and uh, Kathy's gonna say a few words and then we'll get to announcing the winners. All right, so the Young Investigator Awards from the Linus Pauling Institute are rewarded to the most outstanding poster presentations by a graduate student or a uh, postdoctoral fellow. Many of the previous recipients of this war award are currently in this room, and many of them have gone on to become PIs in their own laboratory. No pressure. Um, <clears throat> the young investigators are judged on their ability to effectively and succinctly present their research, the quality of the work that they are presenting, and a personal statement outlining their research goals for the near future. Each of the awards will be accompanied by a certificate and a $500 gift card that can be used as cash. Uh, please uh, see Dustin Helvey to get your gift card. Uh, there. Right That's there. the important hand over there. <laughs> Before he gets away. That's right. Um, and and uh, lastly, we want to thank our sponsors for their con contributions to this research award in order to encourage our graduate students and postdocs in their future work. So Fritz. Okay, I'm gonna announce each winner and then read the title of their work and then they'll come up and accept their award. We'll get a photo and then we'll go through each of those. There's, there's four. Uh, it was a tough job in selecting the, the top four. Um, and I just want to thank John McGuire, who couldn't be here tonight, from the OCC, the Oxygen, Cl the Oxygen Club of California. Um, he was also one of the judges. Okay, so the first one goes to Martin Pierce of Oregon State University. <laughs> the, the title of his uh, poster was Targeting Therapy Resistant Cancer Through BCL2 Functional Conversion. You want to come up? Okay. I guess Siva is going to come up. Siva was uh, Kaluri is his mentor. I'll take pictures with you. Okay. The next one. Okay. I hope that I say this correctly. It's Shelby Dixit from Vanderbilt University. <laughs> and the title of her uh, po uh, poster was Ascorbate Deficiency in Mitochondrial Dysfunction in the APP PSEN1 Mouse Models of Alzheimer's Disease. <laughs> Okay, the next one, and I think one of the criteria should be short titles. These are, <laughs> these are gonna be long, so hang in there, please. Okay, the next winner is uh, Jeffrey Sasaki from The Ohio State University. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, the, this, this is from the OSU, <laughs> Oregon State University. Um, title was Green Tea Treatment in Obese Mice with Non-Alcoholic Steatohepatitis. <laughs> Lowers hepatic NF-kappa B activation in association, second, with altered relative abundance of phosphatidylcholine and bile acid metabolites. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, and the last is The last award goes to Yang Zhang from Linus Pauling Institute at Oregon State University. And the title is uh, Supplementation of Mice Fed a High Fat Diet with Xanthihumol and its derivatives changes the composition of the fecal microbiota and is associated with observed metabolic improvements. Thank you.